Welcome to the Great Pyramid, Earth's Lighthouse. Chapter 9, Video Compliment. The Alabaster Basins at Abu Ghraib. Abu Ghraib is located in Egypt, situated 15 kilometers south of Cairo, near Saqqara, north of Abu Sia, on the edge of the desert plateau on the western bank of the Nile. The location is best known for its solar temple, the largest and best preserved. Along the east wall of the courtyard are a set of nine circular alabaster basins. Some scholars believe these basins were used to collect blood from animal sacrifice. Other researchers, however, think that the basins were probably only symbolic or decorative, since no knives or other equipment related to sacrifice have been discovered in the area. Some of the bowls have a single hole near the top, and some have three holes. Notice the small holes present that run all the way around the bowl. Some are missing due to damage. This design is not present on all the bowls. Here is an example of an ancient gold smelting and refining process. You can find it on YouTube. Gold smelting is a metallurgical process used to separate metal from ore, rocks that contain gold. The ore is ground and treated with chemicals to remove some impurities before being heated at high temperatures with a flux that triggers a chemical reaction, causing the metal to precipitate out of the mixture. When the flux is added, the metal starts to flow to the bottom while slag rises to the top. Slag can be skimmed off, leaving metal behind. After gold has been smelted, it needs to be refined to purify it so it can be used in production of a variety of products from jewelry to electronic components. The process starts with raw crushed ore. The flux mixture is then added. There are several different admixtures that you can use. Two basic chemicals are hydrochloric acid and nitric acid. Once the initial separation has taken place, the mixture is moved to a new bowl for refining. This will account for the bowls with the one hole being designed for applying heat. There had to be a lid placed over the bowl to maximize the heat. This would explain the small holes around the top of the crystal bowls to keep the lid from sliding off as heat was being blown in. Need more? Do you have gold fever? This is the Egyptian hieroglyph for gold. Thought to represent a necklace. Here are other symbols representing silver and electro. Each metal would have required a refining process for using the crystal bowls. Is she sitting on a gold necklace or something big enough to support her? We are not saying that the hieroglyph does not represent gold. We are saying the hieroglyph represents gold as a process, 
not a necklace. So blood lead and Y3 holes or gold processing on a large scale. You decide.